Yes, this is the Thousand Island Campground Video Tour. We are in the front right now, and uh, that little shop you see over there with all those cars, that's a gal's place. We don't own that, but man, they have some great ice cream. On uh, the weekends, there's lines all the way out to the road. Every Friday night, they have a uh, car show. Of course, you know, they don't have them now because it's almost winter. There's the front of the campground. Yes, uh, there's quite a few boats around here. Kind of a pirate type theme. Uh, that's what my dad kind of likes. And for the Pirates Week here in August, that would be why. And this is across the street. A lot of times you'll see wild, uh, wild turkey over there and red deer or whatnot. Just look at the colors on those trees. So uh, here we go. We're going to go into the campground. I have an idea what the campground is like. Ugh, there we go. There's my uh, five wheel gator and the mobile home where I stay while I'm here. And there's the log cabin which served as uh, my mom and dad's residence while I'm here and um, also the office. Yep. A nice little two room cabin. And off this way, you know, there's the kind of start of the campground, and we have 88 sites. There's one of our, one of our large mobile motorhomes that come in. And that is an original cabin uh, that they used to have in the have here. They had probably seven or eight of these at one time. That's the only one that's left right now. As you see, you know, we have several pull-throughs. sites over here. They're really nice. My dad used to own this house back here, but he sold it a while back and now someone else lives there. I kind of wish that we had it again because that would make a really nice maintenance area. And you'll understand what I mean in a minute. These are a lot of our seasonal guys that stay here year after year after year. There's my uncle's trailer over there. It's kind of like a beach area over there. There's no beach though, there's just sand. See, we've already started putting up picnic tables. That's my old Sierra that I used to own, but we sold that. More picnic tables and storage. Going back here, we're entering our tent sites back here. We have a very nice, large tent area. It's kind of trashy right now. Uh, we got some wood we have burned and that's where we put all of our brush over there, which I think we need a fence or something. Uh, and just on the other side of those trees, that's the uh, state park. So this is just one of our tent areas. Like our really primitive tent areas. And there's our trash, you know, a lot of brush, 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 brush. Continuing on, <laughs> coming back here, this is... Uh, more of our tent area. There's areas there. There's a little area back there. There's an area over here. And more areas over here. And over there, over there. Oh, child goes up to the maintenance area. And all this back here, this is all um, tent areas back here. See another nice tent area there. We just kind of came around this side here. And, you know, like a nice area here. We own about 10, 15 feet through there. And this is our other beach area. Uh, it makes no sense, but my dad likes it. So that's his campground. And, uh, oh, gee, look, an outhouse. Of course, what else are we going to find at a campground but an outhouse? Gee, I wonder what's in the outhouse. Ah! A bear! A bear! <laughs> Skeleton! Okay, my dad has a really bad sense of humor, but you know, that's the way life goes. Okay, continuing on with the tour. <clears throat> now, all these sites over here, these are non service sites. We've been trying to get sewer in here, but I uh, can't find anybody that wants to do any work. Seems to be a big problem. 
there's a, one of our rental cabins. There's my dad doing some standing on the rental cabin. That's a one-room rental cabin. We only have one room. We can only uh, rent those from uh, like uh, May to uh, September. And here's our two-room cabin. It's a really nice little cabin. I don't know if it's unlocked. We'll go find out real quick. See, more sites over there, more sites over there, some more seasonals. Nice porch. Hey, and it's unlocked. There we go, see? Nice little chair. Uh, a fold-out couch there, if needed. Refrigerator, coffee pot. Coffee pot. All that good stuff. Bunk beds back here. Oh, fireplace. Nice bed. All that good stuff. Come on here. I'm gonna make sure the windows are closed all the way because they weren't closed all the way before. So, just double checking. Yeah, this is our two room cabin. I believe we get one twenty five a night for this. Nice little cabin. And that's the door. Yep. Chair. Top part. And continuing on, we ran toward the Thousand Islands campground. This area back here is officially called the ghetto just because of the uh, people that stay back here. And they're actually some of the original campers that uh, you know, were here before my dad brought the place. Just making it a little more interesting. And, There's our, our little dump truck. There's another uh, one room cabin. We have three cabins all together. There's one of our playgrounds. Another playground over there. The castle on a ship. And farm off tractor. And believe it or not, you know, it's this late, but look how full we are. I mean, we have a good number of people here. I don't know if you can see that little guy over there. There's Teddy. Hey, Teddy. Teddy, Ted. Ted, Ted. I can't see him. He's a little Pomeranian that just adores me. This is kind of cool. And this is Carol and Bill's trailer. They're, they're seasonals and they're just nice people. They're seniors. And they're supposed to be taking a nap. That's kind of the idea of what the campground is like. here. And there's the back side of the playground, or front side, depending on the way you want to look at it. There's our fire ship. Our castle. Our fall wall. Someday I would really like to get rid of that. That's just always in the way. And this is our carport area. That guy, so you know, people can have little parties back here. But he's a source up, and there's never any room back here. There's always a lot of junk. And there's the chair light, little tractor. There's a big tractor. Uh, we think we just sold that. Look, the Quonset hut. There's our Quonset hut. And there's my Mustang skid steer. And there's my Toro lawnmower. That's my zero turn, one of my zero turns, and my grasshopper. I like them both, they're both very good mowers. Our uh, hay wagon, of course there's no hay in it now, but that's what we use for our uh, hay rides. Back up here, there we go. <clears throat> and we have basketball nets, of course no one ever plays them anymore, but they're still up. Farmer Club tractor. And there's the honey wagon. I attach that to a golf cart and take that and do pump outs when they don't have sewer service. That's a smelly job, as long as I gotta do it. And coming around again. One of our trucks. The garage in a box, as we call it. And the Quanta hut. Okay, quick look in here. Ah, oh, Dad's already had them. Already has a Model A covered up. Of course, you can't see anything, so um, yeah, it's really dark in here. You can't really see anything, so 
Oh, take, or take a nice look at the, the, the darkness and the blackness. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Back up again. Backing up, backing up, backing up. There you go. And closing up our doors, too. That's, a, uh, that's the bathrooms. If you got to go, that's where you go. And if you're going to wash your pits, that's where you go. Those are the showers over there. Those need to be replaced. Those are like original buildings from when we first got the place. Look, electrical panels. Ooh. Of course, you know, every campground needs one of these. Every campground needs a chicken house. That's right, that's our chicken house. Uh, uh, we're, we'll have fresh eggs uh, next, next summer. Of course, there's no chickens now, but there will be next year, I'm sure. So that pretty much winds out the tour of the Thousand Islands Campground. Nothing all that amazing or special, but my dad likes it, and we like it, so yeah, that's probably about it. And hey, look, there's the exit. Thanks for joining me.